Deadly crash this past Friday. Jasmine. Right now, a roadside memorial sits on Lake Avenue and Cheyenne Road. As you can see, it's growing for Michael Tapia Jr., who lost his life over the weekend in a multi-car crash. Crystal Tapia is now mourning the death of her 32-year-old brother, Michael. He was killed in a car crash on Friday night. I don't think any of us want our legacy to end in a roadside memorial. Candles now line the intersection of Cheyenne Road and Lake Avenue, a reminder of the pain his family is experiencing. We see a high number of vehicles turning left, fatal crashes in this town, because we have these solid green lights for intersections for you to make a left turn when you don't see any traffic coming. Unfortunately, a lot of times people miss cars coming and that results in these broadside crashes that and this one that happened on Friday is a perfect example of that. And it took the life of an individual. Steve Noblet with Colorado Springs Police says Friday night's deadly crash is the 50th of the year. What we're asking is that citizens really think about what you're doing when you're driving your cars out here. Slow down. I know we're all in a hurry and we got to be somewhere 10 minutes ago, uh, but please drive with courtesy. Five other people were hurt in Friday night's crash. Police believe alcohol was a factor. And just a very tragic situation here. The father of Michael Tapia Jr. who lost his life on Friday night in that multi-crash accident is set to face vehicular homicide charges. Another candlelight is set for tonight at 7 p.m. here on Lake Avenue and Cheyenne Road. In Colorado Springs, Jasmine Arenas for KRDO News Channel 13.